but I am very excited to be able to uh, welcome you to our Tuesday training webinar. This morning, we are going to focus in on any type of, of appointment that you have with a client. You're talking to them about anything they have that they want to protect, their life, their home, their family, their heritage, their legacy. An index universal life product is just that. It is universally applicable to any time you are sitting with a client. There are certain key aspects that you always want to look for. You always want to, to uh, kind of buzzwords that I, I will call them buzzwords that you want to be aware of whenever you are sitting with a client. These are just um, I'll even call it a hot button that 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 is a button that they push in, in your thinking, in your awareness. If they mention something about, uh, um, you know, protecting their assets or they, they mention anything about retirement you'll have certain age groups, certain health, certain things that you will desperately want to keep in consideration before you even bring up the idea of an index universal life. To help us with all of that, one of, uh, one of our elite producers, you heard me speak of, uh, of Mark Huber last year about uh, writing a $4 million IUL. His first year is going to be funded just by just by a million dollars, but I want you to hear it from somebody who's um, boots on the street, sitting with clients, and his approach and how he helps, uh, uh, and, and he's written more than just a few, uh, but I want you to be able to hear from Mark, his perspective, what he's looking for, how he personally sells these uh, IULs. Mark, do I have you connected with us? Yes. Yes, can you hear me, Tim? You are coming through bright and clear. How are you, my brother? Oh, I'm, I'm wonderful. I'm uh, thankful that uh, you asked me to hop on this call and, and share. Well, I, uh, I really appreciate uh, all, of, all that you do, and I appreciate these calls, and, um, and I, just, uh, I just think you guys are awesome. Well, we enjoyed, uh, my wife and I enjoyed you and your wife uh, and your company. Uh, since you were able to qualify for New Orleans, you've got a very, very lovely wife. And, I, and uh, I'll share with our audience another thing that uh, just makes a, a quick affinity that you'll have towards Mark and his wife is their love for the Lord. That they're wanting to go out and help others. And it, it, it's exemplified in their daily walk. And, uh, uh, but... Mark, could you give us just a just a short before we put uh, Aller Hawk on here from North American? I would like you to uh, maybe share some of your experiences, what you're looking for, um, and and I know it's so unfair to ask for only like eight or ten minutes, but we really want to 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 yeah. catch that vision. Well, Tim, I could I could I could talk for an hour about this stuff because I went from being a very big skeptic, Josh Zettler. Um, you know, when I first got licensed, uh, he introduced me to the IUL concept, and and I was very skeptical. I thought there's no way that this product can do what you said it's doing. It's it's there's, it's got to be illegal somehow to have uh, tax-free money for the rest of your life. Like, what's the catch? Like that was my big thing, and so for a year I didn't even bring it up to anybody because you know the the engineer training that I had from my previous career. Um, didn't allow me to, to completely wrap my head around it until I studied, until I talked to guys like Aller, until I talked to, and uh, you know Randy Pearson, and you know Levon and, and folks here at Gordon Marketing, and 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 finally I finally got my head wrapped around it. Now, um, Randy just sent me, um, uh, or he promoted a link not too long ago for a, a blog, and the blog is. Um, Let's see here. Let me find it. Um, it's called the uh, the IUL Digest, and there's um, you know it's, it's written by a guy named Brett Anderson, who's one of the top IUL experts in the world. And um, and so you know my experience is I'm you know I'm constantly bumping into people that are scared of the stock market. They're scared of losing the retirement. I've I've got an uncle myself who lost. Uh, over a half a million dollars um, of his retirement from 2003 to 2008, and you know these topics resonate when I just have friendly conversations with people. Um, and so, um, 
so I, so I, now I'm always looking to, especially when I talk to people that are self-employed, that are business owners, I'll, I'll appreciate the edification. Um, you know, I've actually sold a lot of the, the smaller policies too because, um, you know, the, the, the nice thing about this IUL product is it's, I, I tell people this is a, this is a hybrid hybrid product. I, I tell them it's a, in, in my own street slang, uh, and I, I know I'm pr I'll probably get in trouble even saying this, but I, I tell them it's, a, it's an investment uh, vehicle hidden inside of a life insurance product. And I said, you certainly want the life insurance too, um, uh, but the investment vehicle is the, the most risk-free, I mean, you cannot, you cannot lose money in this product. And so when I'm out in the world and bumping into people, especially people that are uh, you know, self-employed and people that are um, maybe not the retirement age yet. I'm finding that uh, most of them do not have a plan for retirement. Most of them uh, were never taught. Uh, you know, like it used to be, you'd work at a big company and have a pension and a 401k, and and then maybe a couple other little investments, and that would take care of you. And that that is not true today at all. And um, 401ks are not growing, and, and most people's investments, if they're not uh, going backwards, they're at least not growing. And so if I see someone that can qualify on the fully underwritten side, um, at least in my mind, I think he's got a shot of qualifying for that, um, then uh, then I'm going to bring it up. You know, I'm going to, like, uh, for example, last uh, July, I've got a, a friend up in Michigan. He owns a electrical contracting company. And we were just we were just talking about when the next time we were going to play golf is. And he says, oh, "I got to meet with my financial planner. He just lost another fifty thousand dollars of my money, and I got to figure out what to do." And I, I said, "I said, Mike, I says, I said, dude, I says, give me give me your money. I promise I won't lose it. There's an awesome product called the uh, Index Universal Life. It's a hybrid life insurance, and then the rest of it that." Um, that uh, you put money in over and above the cost of the life insurance, the rest of it uh, grows um, with the you know with the index. He says, well, he says, what do you mean? You put it in the stock market? I said, no, it's not. It's not in the stock market. It, it, it's it's a it's a unique product where if the stock market goes backwards, uh, you don't lose your money. I says, if the stock market goes backwards for multiple years in a row. Um, the, these companies are going to actually credit you with anywhere from three to four percent gains on your money. And he's like, "No." I'm like, "Yes." And he says, "No." I'm like, "Yeah." And so he says, "Well, what's the upside?" I said, "I said the upside is some of these some of these funds are paying eleven, twelve, thirteen uh, percent gains." He says, "Well, how do they do that?" And I said, "Well, it's it's <laughs> they're I said, I have to I'd have to sit down and show you and, and walk you through the illustration and email you a bunch of stuff, but." And so, so it opens up all these questions. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rattle off. Uh, this is kind of a standing email that I that I send people that I'm having these conversations with, and then I back it up with stuff that uh, that Oller Hawk's given me. Um, you know, he's given me a uh, a link to a retirement planning video that I just I just love. Um, Gordon Marketing has uh, a lot of links that um, you know talk about. Uh, IUL. And by the way, Tim, um, I, like I will only sell uh, North American Index Universal Life. Like, will I am very specific. <laughs> He's oh yeah, like I don't right now, so he'll. I don't talk. Hear that. <laughs> oh yeah, like I, that's the only one I sell, and, and I'll tell you why for for two reasons. The first reason is I, I'm going around promising people that um, that I'm giving them the most safest risk-free product on planet earth when it comes to these type of products and and I love North American because North American in my in my knowledge and it's I'm still learning in my knowledge North American has has the only product that offers a what they call waiver of surrender charge and what that means to me is if, if I change my mind or if I have a client that changes his mind or or the caps go down or they change the deal on me in any way I can, you know, I can basically get my money or get my client's money out without having to pay surrender charges. I love that part of North Americans, um, especially the the rapid builder IUL. Um, but even without that, I know 
the you know surrender charges go away over time and, and it's it's fantastic. But the other thing is, you know, reading uh, reading this IUL digest and doing my own research over the last three years, uh, a lot of other competitors to North American, they're they're either really vague when it comes to explaining their products, or they change the deal, or there's just a lot of fine print that um, I don't I don't want to get in a situation where I'm upsetting my clients saying, hey, you didn't tell this to me or you didn't explain that to me or why is this so vague? North American is very clear, wonderful customer support. They are just rock stars when it comes to helping, uh, you know, helping me anyways, uh, you know, sell these policies. And Aller, Aller's a stud. I mean, Aller just, he's, this, he's sharp as a whip. He's a fellow hockey fan, so we have a lot of fun uh, talking to each other. But, uh, but you know, between Aller and Randy Pearson and Levon Justice and um, you know just the whole staff at Gordon Marketing, it's just it's just amazing. But um, let me let me tell you, let's see here. Uh, I just sent this another contractor in Tennessee. I just sent him this email last week. We had a big conversation about it because the guy just doesn't have any. You know, he's not socking away any money for retirement. Like he's he makes a ton of money in contracting, but he doesn't fund his own retirement plan. And so I sent him um, something called the. Uh, let it go here. And uh, Gary Proko at North American gets credit for this because he shared it down in uh, New Orleans. And I just I almost jumped out of my seat when I saw him share this. And I I kind of typed it up. And Oller sent me a video that does the same thing. And I'm sure we can send it along to everybody. But it's called the Tax Controlled Triangle, and it talks about how um, most most uh, investment advisors. Uh, that help help their clients with their money. They're they're they've got solutions when it comes to piling up your money or accumulation, but they're very weak on um, distribution planning or you know helping to uh, minimize your your tax liability. Uh, and we all know taxes are more than likely going to go up with our national debt and with the state of our economy now and fiat money and and just the craziness that's going on. And so so I send them that, but I also send them look. I said, and this is Tom, here are the highlights. This is the, the, my client. Um, North American uh, Index Universal Life, uh, rapid builder with a waiver of surrender charge. Uh, here are the highlights. Built-in death benefit for life. After you fund the product, it is self-sustaining. Uh, number two, waiver of surrender charge rider means that you can cancel this policy and um, you know without having to pay any, any uh, surrender charges and penalties. Um, this makes this policy a no-lose no scenario. <clears throat> uh, third benefit, you set the premiums. You have the flexibility to change the premiums any time. You do have a minimum and you do have a maximum depending on how we set up the policy. But I, re I wrote that because our conversation was, he says, well, Mark, sometimes I make a lot of money and sometimes I don't make a lot of money. Well, am I going to risk getting this thing canceled on me because you know, I have a, a bad quarter or a bad half a year? And I'm like, that's that's why you get this product because you can tailor the money you put in. It's awesome. And then I said, uh, the next thing is, uh, I said, Tom, your money will grow uh, over time, a, a minimum of three to four percent, depending on which index we pick. And right now, the, the maximum we talked about was twelve and a half percent. These are the, the caps. The insurance company gets the rest. Um, I uh, I told him, I says, after year five, you can take money out any time for any reason. It is like having your own virtual bank. And you know, in years one through five, you actually have to take a withdrawal and you know, pay taxes on the gains. But, uh, but after year five, you know, year six and beyond, you, what you do is you take policy loans from this policy. And you can either pay them back, or I tell the clients, I said, you can even you know, not pay them back. And I said, if, if the worst case scenario, you end up not paying most of your loans back, the death benefit covers them, and then your family gets the balance. And, I, and they were like, Mark, wow. This is so, so unfair, but I've, we've, got to, we've got to get Aller on here. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Feel free to. You know, I'd rather hear from Aller anyway. Uh, Aller, but, Aller. but button things up in 60 seconds. Then we're going to go live in his presentation. Yeah, absolutely. And so, so I, I wrap it up and let people know that. That this is this is one of the most uh, one of the best kept financial vehicles, one of the best kept secrets in America today, 
and I am I am working very hard to get the secret out. And uh, and I appreciate you putting this on. I appreciate uh, Oller hopping on here. Oller really knows his stuff, and I I'm always excited to learn from him. So um, so Tim, I'll, I'll hand it back to you and, and mute myself. And if you need me, I'm I'm here listening to the whole thing. It's going to be awesome. Dynamite. Thanks, Mark, for for your your willingness to share from your heart that uh, how how it works. And there is none better. And uh, uh, I'm afraid that uh, Aller, you are you are going to be stuck with probably quite a few phone calls, but maybe not so bad. Um, but everybody, a, 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 a major, major good friend to uh, uh, to Gordon Marketing and to so many of our agents. And you will be with us at Expo uh, here in just a few weeks, aren't you? I don't know that I'm going to be there, no. You're probably going to have the sales vice president there, but that's okay. Okay, we'll, we'll accept that. But uh, um, you'll, you'll, you'll probably accept everyone's phone calls, won't you, um, who, who are interested in trying to help them build their IUL business. Aller, Absolutely. it's all yours, and, and you take over. Well, Mark, hey, you did a fantastic job of building the uh, the idea of using an IUL for uh, retirement planning. I think uh, I'm going to share a little bit more about why you want to focus on the North American product, and I think Mark, you probably did a good job of that already as well. But uh, we're going to share a little bit about why I think the North American product is a great product for you to be looking at from a performance standpoint, from a design standpoint, and from a stability standpoint. So those are the three things I want to touch on today and just share a little bit about uh, the North American product. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. And so let's get started with talking about the North American IUL portfolio. We actually have three individual IUL products. And you know, some people say, well, why do you have three different ones? Well, they're actually designed uh, for a little different take on the market for each one of them. So we're going to share a little bit about why you'd want to look at each individual product and where they fit in the marketplace. So first of all, the Builder IUL is the product I would say is a great product for retirement planning. It's a great accumulation and distribution product. Um, this is a product that is one of the top in the industry as far as accumulation and then distribution or income in retirement. So um, it's got very competitive cap and par rates in the product, meaning uh, we as a company do very well on our investment portfolio, meaning we have a very large options budget to spend, and so we can buy larger caps and pars than some of our competitor companies can. And that's why this product actually does uh, perform very well in the marketplace. We also have a three quarters of a percent guaranteed interest rate bonus on the index account starting in the 11th year. I said guaranteed interest bonus beginning in the 11th year. Basically what that means is that as long as the client has funds allocated to their index selections, they will get an additional three quarters of a percent uh, over and above whatever the index does for that particular year. And that is contractually guaranteed in the contract, not just on our illustrations, not something that, yeah, we think we're going to do, we're going to propose it in our illustration. No, it's actually contractually guaranteed. And then on the uh, distribution side, we have the variable interest rate loans, which our variable rate loans are capped at 6% meaning that if inter, uh, interest rates start going back up and the variable loan rates start jumping again, um, it can uh, be no higher than 6%. So uh, if the index still outperforms that uh, variable interest rate charge, the client still has that leverage or that arbitrage, if you will, of the variable interest rate loan. So those are some very strong selling features of the builder, and I think the builder is a great product to look for for your clients that are looking to uh, build their retirement uh, portfolio. The next product is the Guarantee Builder, and as its name implies, it has a guaranteed death benefit. Um, the, the difference is you're going to see if you pay a set premium, you're going to guarantee a death benefit all the way out, even if the cash value goes away in the contract. So it's a very strong guarantee product. It has excellent cash value growth potential. And it is really uh, versus an alternative to a uh, builder product or a rapid builder, as Mark was talking about. This product is more of an alternative to a traditional guaranteed UL product. If you're looking at a client that says, um, I'm really interested in uh, guaranteeing a death benefit, so no matter what happens, as long as I pay my premium, I know that death benefit will be guaranteed all the way out. Um, a 
typical or traditional guaranteed UL has no cash value in it. This is an alternative that for about the same premium, usually it's just a slightly higher premium, you can guarantee a death benefit along with cash value uh, for the client. So if the client were to get downstream and decided perhaps they didn't need the coverage anymore, if they terminate their traditional guaranteed UL product, there's nothing to cash in. With this product, you can actually have a significant cash value accumulation that the client can cash out of. So again, this is another IUL product design. It's designed for that client that's looking for a guaranteed death benefit, but with some cash value. The third product, and this is the one that Mark was talking about, is the Rapid Builder. And um, he loves this product, and I know a lot of, uh, of our other agents love this product because of the strong early cash value in the contract. It has a 0% premium load, and as Mark mentioned, it has the waiver of surrender charge option on it. Basically what that means is you can design the product to not have any surrender charges even from the very first year of the contract. So again, a client that's looking to put money into it but not uh, looking to tie their money up with surrender charges for 10 or 15 years, this is a great alternative. Or perhaps they could be looking at uh, moving money from an existing contract, maybe via 1035, and again, they don't want to go through another long surrender charge. You throw that waiver of surrender charge option on there, and you can show the client liquidity from the very first year of that contract. Again, tremendous early cash value potential, uh, probably one of the strongest early cash products on the marketplace today. Um, so if that's an issue or concern for your client, the Rapid Builder is a great alternative for that client. All right, let's look at a little bit more into the design and what really makes these products, I think, some of the strongest IUL products that you can find in the marketplace today. Um, first of all, no funds required in the fixed account. Um, we uh, can allow the client to allocate 100% of their funds into the index account. So again, they don't have to have a portion of their money sitting in a, a low yielding fixed account. They can put all their money towards the index and allow them to uh, garner those upside potentials of the index crediting. Uh, interest credited at the beginning of the segment value. This is a big issue in the IUL market space because a lot of companies will credit uh, at the end of the index segment, but they'll credit it on the end of the year account value. So um, let's say you put a $10,000 amount into your policy. Over the year, uh, North American, along with every other IUL carrier, takes out cost of insurance charges and expense charges every month, and you might be at the end of the year maybe in uh, your 10,000 is at 9,000. Now you've got a 10% credit, let's say, on your index value. What are you going to get 10% on? Is it going to be the beginning segment value of 10,000 or the ending segment value of 9,000? North American credits it based on the beginning segment value. That's a huge advantage in our product design. Uh, cap rate variable loans, we did talk about that uh, and the importance of having a cap on the variable loan rate. And of course, we have the opportunity for zero cost loans as well. If the client, uh, instead of taking a variable loan, wants to take a zero net cost loan out of their product. Uh, guaranteed interest rate bonus on the index account. We did talk about that earlier on in the builder design, and that's also in our other products as well. It allows the client, as long as they have money allocated to their index, to be guaranteed that additional interest crediting above and beyond whatever the index does in those years uh, in the contract. Daily index sweeps. What do we mean by daily index sweeps? Basically, we mean that every day that a client might pay us a premium, we go to the options market either that day or the following business day and purchase the option. And so the money actually gets into the index much sooner than any other company in the IUL market space. We are the only company that does daily index sweeps in the IUL marketplace today. Other companies are bi-monthly, monthly, quarterly. There's even one that does annually. They only go to the options market once a year to buy the option. So your money sits in the lower yielding fixed account until the company actually goes to the options market and starts your index clock ticking. We go daily. Um, and then we have the 3% minimum account value uh, calculation in our products, which allows the client uh, to be assured that that's the worst that the product, product can do if the index credits are less than 3% or 
over an eight-year time period, we have an eight-year look back, and we'll say if it does less than that, we'll guarantee the 3% minimum return. So again, those are some performance-based uh, things that I think make our product stand out in the marketplace. Um, again, our design is client-based. Uh, we have 13 different index options, everything from large cap to mid cap to small cap options. We have uh, annual options, monthly options, and daily averaging options. We also have the NASDAQ available if somebody wants to get into the tech side of things. We have a Euro stocks option if they want to get some international flavor in their indexes. But again, lots of different index options available to choose from. Um, we do, we just talked about the difference between the variable loan and the fixed rate, the uh, zero net cost loan. We do allow the client to transfer between loan types on an annual basis, and there's no cap on the number of times they switch back and forth between those loan types. We have over loan protection. Obviously, these are designed to be <coughs> overfunded contracts so that the client can somewhere down the road be taking distributions and loaning the monies out of their product. But you want to make sure that they don't over loan the contract and cause the policy to lapse. And so we have the overloan protection benefit built in where basically we monitor the contract for the client to make sure that they are not overloaning the policy and uh, they will uh, obviously not get that nasty tax bill down the road. So that's one of the other advantages. And then we do have one last one that <clears throat> we have that's the protected death benefit feature. This is another downstream benefit for the client and basically allows the client, let's say, when they get into retirement, they start taking their income distributions. They notice that not only is their cash value going down, but their death benefit is reducing as well as they're taking those distributions. The protected death benefit allows the client to say, um, you know, I want to carve out a portion of my death benefit and make sure that it's always there, it's always protected, that I'm not going to uh, overloan my contract and cause my death benefit to be lower than I need it to be. With the protected death benefit, it allows the client to carve out that portion of death benefit that they want to uh, protect and set it aside like kind of like a paid up portion of the policy. And then they can still take loans and distributions on the remaining portion. So again, it's, it's not something the client probably is going to think is a benefit today. But again, from a client-based standpoint, I think it's a really nice benefit to have in the future for the client. Um, also, with our uh, permanent plans of insurance, we have the accelerated death benefit endorsement, which provides acceleration of not only the cash value, but also up to the significantly all of their death benefit for terminal illness, chronic illness, or critical illness. So again, if the client is living and still has a need for accessing some of those dollars while they're still alive, the accelerated death benefit allows them to do that. And one final thing I want to touch on here is we have no charges or costs in our policy beyond age 100. People are living longer, and people want to know that uh, if they reach age 100, they don't have to worry about the insurance being in force or uh, costs of insurance charges getting too high and they can't afford the coverage. With our policies, you reach age 100, you've automatically gotten to age 120 because we have no charges after age 100 in our products. All right. One final thing I want to touch on is stability, and this is basically a company overview. Um, North American is a very strongly rated company. We have A-plus ratings from AM Best and S&P. We have an 89 Comdex rating. We have a very conservative investment philosophy, um, whereas uh, our uh, investment group has done extremely well on producing very strong returns for us on a very conservative basis. We are a stable company, and we are privately held. And I think that's a huge advantage for North American. People ask, are you a stock company or are you a mutual company? Well, we're neither. We're privately held. We're, we're held by Salmon's Financial Group. And basically what that means is we are a, uh, not subject to the, you know, the whims of Wall Street, basically. Uh, you know, are you meeting your projections and your goals for this quarter or this half a year or this year? We actually price everything we do for the long haul. Um, if, if it makes sense for the long haul, that's really what we price everything based on. That's why you don't see North American uh, making a lot of willy-nilly changes in our uh, cap rates and our, um, our uh, variable loan rates and things like that. We price it for the long haul, and then we don't change it very often. Um, and it's, 
makes it a lot easier to do comp uh, business with a company that has a long-term outlook and a long-term focus. Um, so anyway, that's what I wanted to say about our products and our company, and uh, I, I thank Mark for being on, for teeing it up for me. But again, uh, if you have any specific questions on North American, how the products work, how uh, some sales concepts that uh, you'd like to share with some of your clients, please feel free to reach out to either myself here at North American or to your marketer at Gordon Marketing, and uh, we've got a whole host of different ideas that we can share with you on where our products fit uh, very strongly in the marketplace. So with that, Tim, I'm going to turn it back over to you, uh, and uh, you can wrap it up for us. Tim, are you there? Aller, can you can you hear me? There you are. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm I'm talking and nobody's hearing me, but I feel like I'm at home. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, my friend, if you've got a few more minutes, we've got several questions. I've been kind of answering them online, but uh, okay. if you are you have you got a few more? I sure do. Yeah. Fantastic. Could you? Uh, uh, I know of a, of a major concern with a, with a lot of the agents. They they hear about uh, how to make sure that this uh, that when you you, you're helping a client with an Index Universal Life product that you you want to make sure that, that it never becomes a modified endorsement contract. Could you maybe touch base on what a MEC is and, and how that we can keep them from, from fearing that? Sure, yeah. The modified endowment is actually an IRS uh, rule, basically, for life insurance products. And what they're trying to avoid, which was something that happened way back in the 90s where people were... Uh, paying in like ninety thousand dollars for a hundred thousand uh, dollar insurance product, they they put some rules in place basically that that said you have to kind of balance the death benefit with the cash accumulation, and so what we have to do now is we have to uh, have a lower premium for any given death benefit. So again, as the uh, client is looking for a uh, accumulation product where they're going to be taking distributions in later years, they want to make sure that they avoid the modified endowment status. And so with our software, obviously, calculates the modified endowment uh, levels and the amount of premium that you can put, pay into the contract. Um, but again, when we're doing these types of designs for uh, our agents and their clients, we want to design it with the idea that we're not creating a modified endowment of the contract. and so. Um, again, that I don't want to. We could spend a whole half hour talking about modified endowments, but yeah, absolutely. Um, the bottom line is we want to make sure that you know the software does the calculation, and we want to design it to not have so much money going in that we're going to uh, create a modified endowment of it. If there's a lot of large lump sum of money coming in, usually what we'll do is we'll spread that out uh, in over a five-year period, maybe like using a, a single premium immediate annuity to do that, where the the uh, client pays a single check, but it goes into a SPIA, and then the SPIA pays the premium uh, over a five-year time period, so we can, again, avoid the MEC status. But again, there's some things like that that we can do to avoid uh, creating a MEC, and we really want to avoid that if we're doing these types of sales where we're uh, creating tax-free income for the client. Perfect. Uh, Tim Fox has an has a, a excellent question in reference to software that demonstrates the, the benefit of an IUL versus a 401k that, uh, that comes from North American. No, oh, great question, yeah. Uh, in fact, um, many times you can look at the North American illustration and, and see that you know, we're accumulating some pretty significant money and then we're creating some pretty significant tax-free income in later years. Well, that looks great, but you know, all these, uh, you know, people on TV and radio that are talking heads on uh, financial ideas, they always say, I should be maximizing my 401k before I start looking at, you know, putting money into a life insurance product. Well, we have a piece of software that's not actually our software. It's a third-party vendor of software. They're called Innsmark. And the Innsmark software is available to all North American producers free of charge. Uh, just for having a contract with us. And what Innsmark does, it has a module that allows us to illustrate side by side the accumulation and distribution of uh, IUL product with a 401k, um, so or an IRA or any alternative investment, really. It could be a mutual fund, it could be a CD, it could be an annuity, but you can do these 
comparison side by side on the single piece of paper and you can see which product is actually going to perform the best for the client. So then you know whether they should be uh, max funding their 401k first and then taking any additional monies that they have and putting it towards the IUL. Or maybe they should be looking at uh, pre-funding their IUL first and maybe then look at the 401k after the fact. And I think using that Insmark software really allows you to see the advantage of the builder IUL or the rapid builder in that accumulation and distribution uh, marketplace. Um, it's, again, available free of charge to North American producers. And um, it, it's really, I think, a powerful closing tool for you as an agent to use with your clients because they're still thinking in the back of their mind that, yes, this, this illustration you're showing me from North American looks good, but I probably could do better if I did X, Y, or Z. And so you can take that objection right off the table, basically showing how uh, the the power of the, the builder or the rapid builder in the accumulation and distribution marketplace. I'll also put in an advertisement for your videos that uh, I've, 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 it's been tremendous to be able to just here, watch this when I've sit with a client to uh, uh, just help me write a $50,000 uh, annuity uh, yesterday evening uh, by showing them the uh, uh, the video from North American. Hey, this is why you want to, to do this uh, this annuity. So uh, some tremendous resources if you've not used uh, North American for, uh, for both annuities as well as IUL. Understand the biggest difference between writing a simplified issue term product on a client for mortgage protection, which I still say, take care of what they needed first. Now let's go in and make their money work harder for them because every IUL out there on the planet uh, for most companies, should I say from North American at least will be fully underwritten. So it's going to have a nurse coming out and doing the, the, the body fluids. But you know, if you are dealing with somebody in that key market of 25 to 45, they're making, you know, probably 85 to a hundred thousand dollars comfortably a year. Oh my goodness. That should be screaming IUL. They should be having a blinking sign over their head. Tell me about an IUL. Um, Aller, would you talk or, or maybe address this? John has an excellent question about uh, what product would you recommend for a 70-year-old married female who's getting a 70000 one-time uh, dollars amount um, 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 literally um, fallen into her lap from her retirement? company wants to take 20% before distribution. Is the tax av av uh, avoidable? Well, no, the tax is not avoidable. In fact, it has to be after tax dollars before it goes into a life insurance contract. So let's say she has this lump sum coming and uh, she has the distribution, the tax distribution taken out before her money uh, comes into her hands. Now she has after tax money that she can place into a policy as a single premium. I probably, for a client in that age bracket, would probably be looking at more of a guaranteed type sale, whether it's the uh, custom guarantee product, like a true traditional guaranteed UL, or looking at our the product we just talked about here earlier, the guarantee builder, which actually has the cash value component along with the death benefit. So I would probably look at one of those two products and say, let's put that in, guarantee you a death benefit. We're going to leverage that 70000 into a much larger life insurance benefit. If you go with the guarantee builder, you actually probably still have some access to some cash if you need that as well. But again, that's probably the direction I would go. I wouldn't probably look at that age group of a person for a retirement uh, income scenario like some of the younger clients would be. But in that uh, scenario, I'd probably look at either the custom guarantee or the guarantee builder. Or if she can actually roll it out and looking for an income stream, that's still going to be taxed, though, um, to go into an annuity, correct? Correct. Yep. Now, Fred's making an excellent, uh, excellent point here uh, that it's the, the distribution tax advantage that really makes the IUL go. I mean, we probably can't overemphasize that, can we? No, no. In fact, and that's that earlier question about the MEC rules, too. That's the other thing. We want to make sure we avoid a MEC, but it, it is the accumulation and then the tax-free distribution that really makes the product sing. 
We've, I think we've uh, addressed most of our questions. There's a few that I will address offline, but Aller, you've been very kind with your, uh, uh, with your time this morning. And I know you were, you were, you, you've been running and gunning this morning with a couple other webinars. Thank you for, for taking time. Um, you reached over 40 states with, with our agents across the nation. So you're making Phenomenal. an you're impact. Doing a great job. Appreciate you in, in a real major way. Well, guys, I will love. Uh, uh, you've got a couple more more questions here. I'll answer them offline. Don't forget a week from today how to set up a profitable lead program. I'm going to take you from from A to to Z. How to actually set up a profitable lead program? It's crucial that we you're following certain steps and you're you're guiding our lead team coordinator um, into the suburbs, not into the cities. And uh, and also this Friday, join us. Uh, we've got. Uh, um, and one of my, my favorite uh, featured agents who's just, again, killing it. He just did just shy of $40,000 of issue paid premium personal, not just not his team, not even counting his team. But Josh personally did over uh, over thirty five thousand dollars in the month of January. He's going to be on the call who that we are, are with us every Friday, 11 a.m., Every Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, we do a, a, a conference call using the GoToWebinar platform so that you guys can type in questions just like you're doing here. And uh, Josh will be sharing how that you can do this. And wow, what a what a phenomenal spirit and attitude he has. He's one of our seven regional sales managers that I will I'll roll out to you guys and talk about how that we've got uh, regional sales managers now in place that will be able to help you um, be, be have a little bit more of a personal touch than uh, than how far I run behind in so many days of answering phone calls and emails. Guys, three ways to be an agent who's making it happen. You will be an agent who's making it happen for your income. You will be an agent who's making it happen to bless your family. And if you take care of number three, the first two will always be taken care of. If you will be an agent who's making it happen for that family that you're sitting with, God will just see it, that number one and number two will be a blessing also for your income, for your family. I will look forward to seeing your name pop on our screen, connecting if I don't hear or, or email or talk to you before Friday at 11 a.m. I wish you Godspeed and you go out and be a blessing to others. God will bless you. Have a good day, guys.